students welcome back so today we will see another concept in advanced java programming language so now i'm going to explain a program to select data based on a condition so based on a condition i'm going to select a data from database by using dynamic sql query Okay, so here I'm writing a dynamic SQL query to select the data based on a condition. So now let's see how to write the program, this program on Eclipse ID. Okay, so now JDBC, right? So select the new files, so right click here. So under JDBC project, I'm right clicking new. I'm selecting the new class. Okay, so JDBC source, the class name I'm giving, let us take select demo. Okay, select demo is my class name. So the package, the steps that I'm going to give, only the public static void may finish. So this is a select demo package, the package JDBC, and I'm importing the SQL package, import java.sql.star. So whatever the methods that are uh, dot star, the sub packages will come under this, import java.sql.star. So select demo, so static void main. So the first, what, what we have to do, okay? First thing is open braces, try block. Okay, so under the try, first establish the connection. So whatever I had explained in the insert demo, I'm just copying this connection, establishing the connection. Okay. So establishing the connection dot Oracle driver is establishing connection. Okay, uh, sorry, not loading the drivers, loading the drivers first. Then establishing connection. Connection is equal to con is equal to driver manager dot get connection. So JDBC colon Oracle colon thin driver four at local host. So and my port number is one one five two one and I install the Oracle nineteen C Express Edition. So Express Edition means yeah. XE you had to use. I had installed the uh, Enterprises Edition. So that's why I had kept here, written here as a ORCL. And system is my username and Banu DB is my password. So prepared statement. I'm calling the class prepared statement, an object that represents a pre-compiled SQL statement. This is prepared statement. So the object reference here, I'm using PSTMT, con dot, okay, prepared statement. So now write the query here. So what query you're going to write here? I need to select, select, I'm just selecting the marks. Select marks from which table? Student table. Select star from student table where roll number, I don't know the roll number because this is a dynamic query, right? I'm using a dynamic query. So just question mark. Just keep it as question mark. Quotations close bracket close semicolon okay so now you have to call that object reference pstmt prepared statement dot set int the first column the set int is what is the first column column number is one so the column number is one so whatever the argument that i am passing is of string type so convert it into integer because the first column is the roll number so integer is a class name and pass int is a method to convert the string to the to access string as an integer. So you have to convert integer dot pass int argument zero. Okay. So again, uh, so this is the only the I'm just uh, concentrating on roll number. So that's why I'm I'm just uh, uh, taking the set int. That is a column number one. So column number one, that is a roll number. So select marks from student where roll number. So I just enter the roll number. So for that roll number, the particular marks need to be displayed. Okay. 
So for that result set, result set RS is equal to prepared statement reference dot execute query. Execute query. So for select statement, you need to use the execute query. You, you need to call the execute query method. So then a condition, if the result set, whatever the result set, dot next, okay, dot next is there, then try to print that data. System dot out dot print ln and try to print that data. So how to print rs dot get int. I need to get that integer. So the column number is one. Okay, so that's it. So now catch block. So if any exception is occurred, catch block. So what cla class not found? Class not found exception. Or it may be a SQL exception also. Exception. Class not found or ex uh, SQL exception with a reference E. So let's take E dot print stack trace. Print track trace. That's it. Okay. So what I had done here, a simple thing. I'm just, uh, my program is a program to select the data based on condition. So what's the condition I had given? Select marks from students. The condition is select marks from students where roll number is, it's a dynamic query. So that's my question mark. Where roll number is, I need to enter at uh, runtime, right? So here, first loading the drivers, establishing the connection, then call the prepared statement for writing the query. So prepared statement, PSTMT is equal to connection dot prepare statement and write the query within the brackets. Then whatever the condition you had mentioned, so just I take in the row number, the first column. So the first column is a one. So whatever the argument that I'm passing is of string type. So to convert the string type into integer, you need to call the class integer dot parsing. Okay, so that uh, that that has to be executed and the result will be stored in RS result set. So now the result set need to be checked whether the next still uh, one more column is there or not. If no column is there, if resulted, result set dot next is there, then try to print that data. So that is the first column data you need to be uh, that roll number. Select marks where roll number, a particular roll number is there. Okay, for that roll number, I have to print the marks. That's it. Okay, so save the program. Save the program. Then select demo, right? So right click on it. Run as. First try to run as a Java application. Then run, go for the run configuration. Because without run as a, uh, run as a Java application, it won't appear in the configuration. Okay, so first, so here, see it, a thread main will be, uh, error will be occurred because you didn't enter the arguments. Index zero out of bounds for length zero. So now right click here, run as, run configuration. Run configuration. So here in the select demo, go with the arguments. Okay, go with the arguments and type program arguments. So, Select roll number. What's the query? Select marks from student where roll number is equal. I'm just entering the roll number four. Okay. Apply. Run. So whenever I click on run, a 97 marks are appeared. So now let's check whether the roll number four is having the marks 87 or not. Okay. So now let's check whether the roll number is having the 87 marks or not. So SQL command, username, password. So first try to connect it. Okay. 
so now select star from student so what is the roll number 4 see here roll number 4 how many marks 90 87 marks are there so roll number is having 87 marks so that it is printed see here roll number 7 87 marks so now again try to run it run run as so this time i am giving another value arguments select demo click on select demo so let's give uh, like uh, roll number 2 apply run so select marks where roll number is equal to 2 so for roll number 2 the marks are 85 let's check whether 85 or not see here the roll number 2 the marks are 85 so this is the way you have to write the program so this is a program for a program to select data based on a condition so what the condition i had given a select marks from student where roll number so i'm just selecting the marks that's it that is a based on condition from database by using dynamic sql query so i hope you understand still if you are facing any doubts please let me know thank you